Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or just welcome if you are new. My name is The Clumsy Simmer and today I am finishing up the Grand Estate wedding venue for you guys. I am, I would like to apologize because I am late posting this. I usually post on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And exactly a week ago today is when I posted the exterior for this wedding venue. And in my last video I did mention that I was getting over a sickness. Well, I guess I should not. I, I spoke too soon because I ended up getting sick again and so I just could not bring myself to do any voiceovers last week. So here I am today finishing it up for you guys. Um, yeah, so we are getting right into it and I am getting the interior wedding ceremony room put together. Um, I... You know, I really wanted it to be red, white, and black was the color scheme, but for some reason I just could not get the red, you know, to look good in here, and so I decided to do away with that idea, and there was, there is a bunch of pink throughout this build already, and so I, I just figured, what the heck, I might as well just con continue doing a pink slash peach color theme in here and I think it turned out really good I I don't do wedding venues very often and so I don't have much practice with it but I'm really happy with the way it turned out um I could so imagine myself getting married here <laughs> um these colors together are so beautiful this pink slash peach with the white just looks so good together just it really looks like true wedding colors to me and I wanted to do something kind of cool with the piano area and with the way that the rooms are set up I decided to make use of the platforms and You'll see kind of later, I decide to put the piano on an individual platform. I kind of sunk down the whole room where the piano is, and I couldn't decide... Yeah, right there is when I just added an, another platform right under the piano, and I think making the use of the platforms like that really fills up the room. And I had some difficulty figuring out exactly how I wanted to fill the room up. I mean, of course, there's the wedding art and the chairs and the, the roses for the aisleway. And that's kind of standard stuff. But as far as everything else in the room, I literally had no idea. <laughs> so this is just me trying to fill it up the best that I can. Uh, flowers everywhere. Um, there might be a little bit too many flowers, but I think it's perfect in my opinion. I mean, for, for weddings, can there really be too many flowers? I don't think so. <laughs> and I decided to do something different than I usually do with these bows right here. And it did take a little bit of extra time, but it was worth it to me. I put them on the wedding arch and then I also decided to go ahead and put them on the back of these chairs as well. And this is all play tested. This all works great. And I just think adding the bows onto these chairs just add that extra touch that it needs. Really when this My Wedding Stories came out, I was kind of disappointed with the the chairs that came with it, I didn't think it really had that cute of chairs. I don't know, these chairs are kind of ugly to me, but then adding these bows on the back just adds that extra touch that makes it pretty. It's lacking the bow. I don't like how it's just like a flat ribbon tied around the chair. It definitely needs that bow on the back. I don't know. Let me guys know or let me know you guys if you agree on that or not or if you like them how they are just a flat ribbon I don't know I think it's just it's missing something <laughs> and this back area right here I at first did not know what the heck to put there but then the more I thought about it I was like well isn't there usually you know like a book 
that all of the you know wedding guests sign for the wedding couple so that is what I decided to put here and I thought it turned out really cute and then I wanted this piece right here with the balloons from my uh, high school years I wanted to use it so bad because it's so cute but I just could not figure out how to use it and I put those picture frames the three picture frames from going together above the book because I was thinking you know what I first of all had no idea what to put there <laughs> it was a blank wall that needed to be filled but the pictures you know you could put pictures of your wedding couple in there the bride and the groom or both grooms both brides whatever it may be pictures of them in there I think would be so cute and kind of realistic um I've I've been to weddings where people had you know like a stand of pictures of the wedding couple and so that's kind of my inspiration on that part this wall right here i literally had no clue whatsoever to put there it was like this big blank wall i almost left it blank but i'm so glad that i didn't um honestly i can't quite remember what i ended up putting there <laughs> which is crazy but i yeah we're gonna find out together what exactly I put there because I cannot remember for the life of me what I put there. I put something, I know for a fact I put something, but we'll just have to wait and see. And the curtains throughout the rest of this build, I went back and forth on using the Get Famous curtains because they look really like nice and extravagant and classy, but Putting them on, like out onto the windows, it just didn't look like a wedding venue to me. There's something about it that I did not like. So I decided, you know what, I'll just go ahead and put the rest of these My Wedding Story curtains throughout the whole build. I mean, they just look the most wedding-like to me. There's no other curtains in the game that look like wedding curtains to me. They, they definitely hit the nail on the head with these curtains in the My Wedding Story pack because these are like these standard wedding curtains, at least in my opinion. At all the weddings that I've been to, and I've been to several, they've all had curtains that look like that. And um, so we are in the reception room now, the interior reception, re oh my gosh, <laughs> let me just take a second. Reception room. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say, but it was. <laughs> so we're inside the interior reception room now. And I'm quite happy with how this turned out. I put in the corner on the other side, a little, like a two seater table for the wedding couple. And then I, on the other side, I put the bar, of course. I mean, what is a wedding without a bar? And then I put four tables in this room for the wedding guests, and they each sit about six guests, I think. So I want to say the, the ceremony location and the reception room all, at least in the interior, they both fit about 24 sims. That is more than enough for your sims. I mean, I don't think I ever invite more than like 10 sims max to my sims' weddings. I mean, it's not like real life where you invite like your whole family. You have 50 plus people. Sometimes people get into like the 200s. I don't know how they can afford that, but yeah. So... 24 sims on the interior side and probably the exterior as well is about 24 um but yeah so more than enough sims for your wedding couple to invite is able to sit in here and with plenty of room there's a dancing area right here with a dance floor and i almost put a dj bo booth in here I'm sorry guys, I'm having such a hard time talking today for some reason. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I, I almost put a DJ booth in there because I wanted to have the reception room kind of like a dance party reception, but I don't know, it was kind of, it was too dark and then I just didn't like the way it looked. But, so I did away with the DJ booth and the dark 
reception area. That's why I'm adding these lanterns now. I thought the lanterns really looked really good in there. And I put them above the dance floor too. And I put the like some sort of animation thing. It drops like confetti and bubbles and stuff. It's from Get Famous, the little black pegs up there on the ceiling. It can drop hearts, drop confetti, drop bubbles, drop uh, smoke too, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that. But yeah, this is actually me going into game to figure out exactly if that works or not. And this is what it looks like. I think it's such a cute touch. I don't like the black part on the ceiling like that. I feel like it kind of kills the vibe, but you know, having the bubbles drop on the, you know, either the wedding couple having their first dance or all of the guests at the wedding while they're dancing, confetti, bubbles, whatever it may be, hearts. I thought it was just such a cute touch. And so I ended up leaving it like that. And I'm happy that I did because I, as I was playing testing this, I had a wedding couple actually get married and like invite 10 plus Sims, just random Sims and stuff and make sure that this works okay. And it, it, it does work good. My Wedding Stories is a pack that, you know, a lot of people say it's broken and I guess it could be. I don't know if I'd go as far as to say it's broken, but it definitely doesn't work that great so if you have a wedding venue that is outdoor and indoor options then for some reason like yes you can set the wedding arch as everyone go to the wedding arch outdoor or indoor but you know the ceremony works pretty good as far as i can tell but when it's time for the reception Everyone just goes their own way. They do their own thing. And it's kind of, you know, annoying. <laughs> but, you know, it, it can always be worked around, I guess. I mean, I, I do wish that they would fix the pack a little bit more. I mean, there's multiple packs that need to be fixed at this point. So I guess we shouldn't hold our breath. I guess the fact that you can have a ceremony... And if you have a wedding venue that is outdoor only or indoor only, and it just has one reception room, it probably works out better that way, honestly. But I wanted to make a wedding venue that had both indoor and outdoor, especially on this 50 by 50 lot. It's such a big lot to fill up that, you know, I really needed some ideas to fill it up so the indoor and outdoor is just what I came up with and I am happy with the way that this wedding venue looks I just wish it worked a little bit better when it came to actually playing the game <laughs> but yeah so anyways I am inside the area right but right before you get into the wedding like ceremony room and I literally had no idea what to put in this room I, I knew I wanted to put some type of seating for like the guests and stuff and which I think is pretty realistic because usually outside of ceremony rooms or any like wedding venue when you were when you first walk in there's going to be like a sitting area for like guests to just chill out and relax while waiting for the wedding to start or during the cocktail hour, maybe even during the reception. Um, but yeah, so I am kind of going back and forth trying to fill up this space. And actually I just remembered um, my game crashed as I was building this. And so I had to real quick, as you've seen, redo that room that I had the mirrors and the balloons and stuff the room where like all the guests can sit at I had to redo that real quick because of course the game crashed as I was building that's like one of the worst things that could happen but luckily I didn't lose too much of my progress so um, I just jumped right back into it and I decided I almost put this front room just like the back room with sofas and stuff but I just wanted to make like better use of it you know and so I was like well 
I know there's been plenty of times where I forgot to like order my Sims a wedding cake or bake a wedding cake if that's what you'd prefer or even like if you're tired of using the exact same food options on that like buffet table every time you can have your sims make their own food or you can have like a chef hired and so i decided to turn this room into like a kitchen for your sims to come in and do that and i am happy that i ended up doing that it definitely makes a lot of better use with the space and makes the space a lot more functional than just having you know sofas for your sims to sit on when there's perfectly good sofas in the other room you know and so i am just finishing up in here trying to figure out exactly what to put in this corner over here <laughs> i remember not knowing exactly and i wanted to keep the pink color scheme throughout this whole inside of this build and i thought it turned out so cute i love the color pink for some reason uh yeah, I just think it's just so cute and pretty and romantic and really versatile too. I feel like anybody can pull pink off in my opinion. Um, but yeah, so I am in the entryway now, just trying to figure out exactly what to put there. I decided to just put some rugs in there. I will come back to that shortly. I Sometimes what I do while I'm building, if I can't exactly figure something out, I will just hop to a different section. I, you know, it's not the best to do that when it comes to like editing and voiceover and just watching it as a video in general. It's kind of like flipping all over the place. So I'm, I'm trying to keep that in mind as I'm building going forward. I think I'm doing be a better job overall with the other build that I recorded last week as I was sick. Um, just trying to not jump all over the place. <laughs> so, so bear with me as I kind of learn this process and get more experience with recording myself building and editing and voiceover and all of that jazz. Just, yeah. I appreciate your patience. I hope you enjoy my video so far. Uh, like I said in my last video, if there's any like friendly, constructive criticism uh, you would like to let me know, then feel free to comment down below. I, I am open to constructive criticism to help myself be better and help my channel grow. It's, you know... I thank you to the five subscribers that I have gained. Uh, I definitely feel very lucky that I've gained any. I really wasn't expecting to gain any at all. So thank you to the five people that have subscribed. I hope you're enjoying my content. And yeah, so back into the build now. I am just doing this downstairs bathroom. So this whole thing ended up having one downstairs bathroom and then two upstairs bathrooms for like the guests and then one for the bridal suite and one for the groom suite and by the way sometimes you'll see me pop into like live mode so that's just me play testing as I'm building just to make sure everything that I'm doing works because I did put that toilet on a platform for some reason i literally don't know why i just did sometimes i do random stuff if i think it looks cool i'll keep it and i thought that looked pretty cool like that even though as you're playing and your sims they can use the toilet but their feet is going to be kind of off the ledge <laughs> so if that bothers you you can just sink down the platform but it doesn't bother me and i thought it looked pretty cool like that it gave it some sort of you know some sort of just detail in the bathroom that it needed but now i am over into the bar section and looking for some decor to put on here i think i end up just putting like another candle on there or i took the candle off but i know for a fact there was a candle on there at some point and I remember thinking like what in the heck can I put on top of that bar and I don't know if I ever figured it out okay so I ended up 
doing the two upstairs bathrooms and I decided to just cut that section off because I don't know it's just the same exact thing as the downstairs bathroom except I ended up adding like a changing table to both of those from get together or growing together I mean and yeah so I ended up just cutting that part out it was kind of boring to watch it was kind of unnecessary to be honest just bathrooms <laughs> bathrooms toilet some uh like a sink with some counters and then i added the changing table so that's what you got into the upstairs guest bathrooms i don't believe i have done the groom or the bridal suite bathrooms yet i am working on the groom suite right now so i ended up you know, doing a groom suite for like the groom and his wedding party to get ready. And then I also did a bridal suite and the bridal wedding party to get ready. And then I was kind of thinking I like to have my Sims go on honeymoons and there are vacation rentals now, which are awesome. But you can also have the option of just having your wedding couple stay here for their wedding night. And I mean, for a couple days too, really. But yeah, so you have the option to stay here for your wedding night. You can either choose the groom suite or the bridal suite. I love both, to be honest. <laughs> so it's really kind of up to you. I wanted to keep the groom suite kind of true to being more of like the groom like more of a man cave type of thing <laughs> so there's a tv in there for the guys to hang out there is i end up putting like a banquet table in there as well as the bridal suite for like refreshments for the wedding party as they get ready that's a thing in real life too so i decided to go ahead and do that in here i thought it was a great idea and I could not figure out for the life of me how I wanted to lay these rooms out. I am happy with the way that it turned out. And I had the idea of putting those roses on top of that rug like that. And I thought it was really cute and kind of true for like wedding. And then if your Sims have like their honeymoon here, then the roses do make sense for being on the floor. I wish... I could have put some on top of the bed you know you know how like you go on like a romantic vacation or maybe you've seen movies or maybe like your significant other has decorated your bedroom for you for a special occasion and they put roses on the bed and some on the floor and I wish I could have done that I probably could have uh using like the tool the tool mod and it, there would have been clipping and stuff like that I could have done it but I like keeping my builds as as playable as possible and I like to keep them you know not really clipping as as much as possible anyways you're going to have some clipping here and there it's just comes with the territory but I like to do my best to keep it realistic and not clipping and not having just random things floating, if that makes sense. Like, I do love putting a wreath on front doors as I'm building homes and stuff. But if you've downloaded gallery or gallery builds or if you've put wreaths on doors yourself, then you'll know that as your sim opens the door it it's kind of just the wreath is just floating there <laughs> and it probably bothers me a little bit more than it should but I don't know I have to fight with myself like yes it's cute on the outside but as you're playing your sim is literally just walking through the wreath and it it does get on my nerves so I'll, I do it sometimes if I give in to myself but a lot of the time I end up not doing it. But anyways, I am finishing up the groom suite now. I am in the closet now. I wanted to do a walk-in closet for both the groom and the bride, and that's exactly what I did. 
I ended up, I was just going to keep it like that. And honestly, it looks pretty good. But then in the bridal suite, I just wanted it to be different in both the bridal suite and the groom suite. So in the bridal suite, I ended up, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I say I wanted it to be different, but I ended up putting like one of those table uh, vanities in the bridal suite closet. And then it, I ended up doing it in the groom suite too. So I wanted it to be different, but then I ended up doing the same thing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we are in the bridal suite now. I end up going back to the groom suite and switching that up a little bit, but we're in the bridal suite now. I think it turned out really cute. I'm really happy with it. And I am just getting some clutter pieces out and putting them out like this space is actually being used like some makeup and then that piece i think it's from i don't know i think it's from high school years the one with the rose and like the little mirror and the camera and stuff i think that is so cute i love using that i don't know why it calls to me like it does but i just think it's so adorable and so that closet is pretty much done I don't think I do anything else in that closet I think I leave it the way that I that it is and then now in the bridal suite I am I have the banquet table and then I have the bed that bed is from get famous and it's like a big extravagant bed I love it and it look, just looks really cozy for some reason and I end up putting the the roses in here as well so Really, both the groom and the bridal suite, both would be great for a honeymoon type of thing. And, oh yeah, and then I end up putting, like, the couches and a coffee table and... I think I put a coffee table, but I wanted to point out that, like, that bottle of champagne and ice right there that your Sims get if they do, like, a gold level date or something like that. And I wanted to put that out because I thought it was so cute, especially for like honeymoon type of things. Or if, you know, the bride and the bridal wedding party just want to, you know, get a little pregame going on, they can open that champagne and have a little bit to drink. <laughs> so I just thought it was a cute idea. And of course I put some more of those cherry blossoms out. I love cherry blossoms i actually have a couple cherry blossom tattoos in real life and i have one on my back that almost looks like the one in game but the one on my back is bigger <laughs> it's like half of my it's like a quarter of my back it's on my shoulder and it i just love cherry blossoms it's so beautiful and then i have a tattoo on my ankle of cherry blossoms and peonies I think that's how you say those flowers let me know if not but yeah so on my ankle I have cherry blossoms and peonies and I just love cherry blossoms they're just so pretty and they smell so good and they're just beautiful and I love like a cherry blossom tree I don't think I've ever seen one in real life but I've seen plenty of pictures and they, they're beautiful and I bet the area smells so good if you're walking by a group of cherry blossom trees. I bet they smell so good. But anyways, we are out in this big hallway now. I, yeah, this space did not turn out very good at all. <laughs> not in my opinion anyways. I feel like it's really open and... You know, the way that it's set up really made it hard to fill up. So I end up putting two computers in here, one on each side. And, you know, that is good for play reasons because, like I said earlier when I was doing the kitchen, if your Sims forget to order a cake or something, they do have the computers here now. But... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this build as much as I enjoyed building it. We are coming up to the screenshots now. So I just want to say a big thank you to you guys that watch it. And 
I hope you have an amazing rest of your day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young and it's just begun. As she puts her hand in mine We wanna chase the night Wanna dance to the light Pull stars from the sky Just two hearts running wild Never sleep, never stop Every shot from the top